weak tonight. Build up the torn down, oh God. Oh, let your word, God, become alive in our souls, oh God. And Lord, we'll forever give your great name the praise, all of the glory and honor. It is thine. And we thank you for it now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Amen. Just look around at your neighbors and your friends. Amen. And just say, God bless you. It's so good to see you in the house of the Lord one more time. Thank the Lord. Amen. One more time, people of God. Thank you, God. We just love him on tonight. Amen. And we just thank God. Thank God for the prayer. Amen. Prayer hours. Prayers going forth. Thank you, God. Amen. And nothing like talking to the Lord. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. Amen. We thank God. Amen. For the spirit of the Lord. Amen. That is so real. Amen. Thank God he'll come when you call him. Amen. And he'll stay just as long as you welcome him. Amen. And we just love him on tonight. We thank God for Bishop Cooper. Amen. On tonight. God bless you, man of God. Amen. We do honor the Lord for our leaders. Amen. Apostle Murray, Lady Danielle. Amen. We just thank God for the leaders in this house. Amen. Eldress, amen. Moore, Evangelist Hagens. Amen. We thank God for all of you in your respective places. Amen. We do honor the saints. Amen. At the Oak City location as well. Amen. God bless you to Eldress Hall. Amen. And the saints. It's just good to be in the house of God. Amen. We do give honor. Amen. Also, amen to all of the pastors all over. Amen. Not only just those in our organization. Amen. But we thank God for the men and women of God that's standing up. Amen. Glory to God in a day like today. Amen. We want to give God, amen, praise and glory. Amen. Even for the saints of God that are holding on. Amen. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. We just honor the Lord. Amen. For you on tonight. Thank you, God. Amen. And we just bless God. Glory to God. Amen. For you, you, and you. Amen. We thank God for those that are visiting with us. Amen. By way of social media, we are always grateful, amen, that you tune in with us, amen, on our Bible study nights, amen, and any other service time that we have. We appreciate that, amen. So we're asking you tonight, amen, as we always do every Wednesday night, amen, to share the service, amen, to share the service, amen, and let it bless somebody else's life the way that it bless yours, amen. And for those of you that are in the house, thank you, God, amen, that, that you receive, amen. Share it with somebody on tomorrow, amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Just don't keep it for yourself. Amen. All right. God bless you. We just love you in the Lord. Amen. We're going to go ahead. Amen. In our lesson tonight, you can have your seats. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. We bless God. Like I said, it's another day the Lord has blessed us. Amen. Another day that he has allowed us to come together. Amen. In the house of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Tonight, thank you, God. Amen. We want to continue talking about. Thank you, God. Amen. The, the theme, amen, of our women's conference. How many was able to tune in to the women's conference? Did not God move in the midst of those services? I'm telling you, amen. God spoke to us. God blessed us. God encouraged us. Thank you, God. Amen. And God spoke an entire sentence unto us. Thank you, God. Amen. If we just grab hold to it. Amen. Amen. We can certainly live this life. And we say God bless you to each and every one of them. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. Our hearts, amen, were blessed. Amen. All right. Thank you, God. Amen. Our, amen, um, scripture lesson tonight is coming from St. Matthew, very familiar text. St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. St. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Thank you, God. Amen. And we want to begin reading at verse number 13. Verse 13 um, through verse 16. Amen. When you have it, say praise the Lord. Amen. The word of God reads as thus. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Mm -hmm. Verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Doesn't matter how much, amen, somebody tried to, amen, uh, hide the light. When a city, amen, is on a hill, amen, the light shines. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. And, and you can't hide that. Uh, verse 15 says, neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, 
and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Verse 16, amen, is where we want to build this lesson around on tonight. And it reads, let, let your light so shine before men. Mm -hmm. Just like this light that's placed on a candlestick and not put under a bushel, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. Let's thank God for the reading of the word on tonight. Amen. That, there is a, a purpose. Amen. For your light shining. Thank you, God. And how many know it ain't all about you? Thank you, God. There is a purpose. Amen. For your light shining. Amen. All right. As we look at our handouts tonight, thank you, God. Amen. As we begin, um, it has been said that when people are filled with the Holy Spirit, have a thriving relationship with God and seek every day to follow the example of Jesus Christ, there is a significant glow about them. How, how many, amen, have, have, have somebody came to you, amen, and said, you know what, amen, there is a certain glow about you. There, there, is, there is a certain difference about you. How many has ever had somebody say, to say that to them? How many know, amen, that's not necessarily you or your spirit, amen, but that is the Holy Spirit, thank you, God, amen, that is living within your spirit that causes you to glow, amen, amen, Th that is the light of God that lives on the inside of us, amen, thank you, God, that's also the light of holiness, Thank you, God. Uh, the, the, the light of the word, amen, being lived inside of us, amen. Because, amen, even though we say that we are saved, amen, if we don't allow the word to illuminate us, amen, we can still be walking around looking dark. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, God, amen. But when they look at, amen, look at you and they say, well, you know, there's just something about you. There's, there's such a glow about you or what have you. Oh, your skin is so pretty and what have you. They don't really understand, amen, what's happening. They don't understand what it's all about. But that is an open door for us, amen, to be able to, uh, to share with them, thank you, God, and witness to them, amen, how that light is beaming from you, who that light is that's beaming from you. Amen. Thank you, God, that, that it's not about you. Amen. But it's about the God that's on the inside of you. Can somebody say amen? Amen. So th th there is a significant glow. Amen. Uh, about them. And again, amen. Th th these are people that are filled with the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen. And they are thriving in their relationship with God. Amen. They're growing in their relationship with God. Amen. They're actively, amen, being pro productive in their relationship with God. Amen. A and seek every day to follow the example of Jesus Christ. Amen. We want to be more like him and less like us. Thank you, God. And the more we go after him, amen, and the more we give ourselves to him, amen, then the more we're going to look like him. We're going to shine like him. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, God. Amen. Uh, th there is a difference, amen, in their walk. Yeah, yeah, amen, amen. Uh, what are you talking about? Amen. The way that they now live, the way that you now live. Thank you, God. There's a difference in your walk now than before you got saved. Amen. Nobody, nobody, thank you, God, amen, that's saved, that's born again, that's filled with the Holy Ghost, amen, should have the same walk that they had when they were in the world. There have to be a significant change. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. So there is a difference in their walk. Amen. There is a difference in their personality. Amen. In their attitude and in their character. There is a difference there. Amen. There is a difference in their service to others. Thank you, God. Amen. Why? Because now that we're on this side, amen, and we know what it's all about. Thank you, God. Amen. We know about heaven. We know about the Lord. We know that he has gone away to prepare a place. We know that this is the good life. Amen. We want to share that with somebody else. Thank you, God. Amen. And we, we will serve them in the manner, thank you, God, that, it, that we need to do so in order for them to learn to fall in love with God the same way we did. Thank you, God, that we don't have a problem operating in the ministry of helps. 
Amen. How can I help you? Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. How can I show forth, amen, the love of God? Amen. How can, how can I just, amen, uh, open, open up my bowels of mercy? Thank you, God. Amen. To be a blessing to somebody else. Thank you, God. Amen. How many know, amen, that's being service to others? Thank you, God. Amen. And, and that comes, amen, with a life that's sold out to Christ. Amen. From a people that understand, amen, that I'm not just saved for me only. Amen. I'm, I'm not just saved just so I can miss hell and go to heaven. Amen. But I'm saved, amen, to be a fisher of men. I have a purpose for why I am saved. That there is a purpose for why, amen, the Lord filled me with his power and the Lord gifted me. Amen. It's not just because of me. Amen, amen, there's a reason why, amen, he requires us, amen, to let our light shine. Amen, not to make it shine, amen. Thank you, God, because if you have to make it shine, then that means there is something that is there that can cause it to go out at any time. Amen, but when you let it shine, amen, that's automatic. Thank you, God, amen, amen. When you walk in the walk, it's automatic. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, God. Amen. And not only that, amen, but amen, it, that's a significant glow. Thank you, God. And there's a difference on the lives of people, amen, in handling our everyday problems. And I know I'm going to get some amens on this. But how many had some every, some problems just today? Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, did you let your light shine? Amen. Come on. We got somebody that's, that don't mind standing up and letting you know. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I let my light shine. Thank you, God. Amen. So when we have the power of God on the inside of us, thank you, God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because we couldn't do this without him. Thank you, God. Amen. But we handle our everyday problems, thank you, God, differently. Amen. In other words, we, we don't act or react like we did when we was in the world and when we was unsaved. Amen. And tell your neighbor, I ain't boasting in that. Amen. Because I don't want nobody, amen, to be clapping their hand that you know that you know she was a devil. No, I want you to know I'm saved now. Amen. All glory go to God. Amen. When we was in the world, that's what we did. We obeyed the devil. But now, amen, we give glory to God on this side. Amen. In the house. Thank you, God. Amen. All right. Amen. That, that significant glow. Somebody said that glow. Amen. That, that light that shineth in darkness. Amen. Um, how does this glow or difference change us? And what are we supposed to do about it? Amen. Because it's just not, amen. One thing about the Lord, he just doesn't do anything just for the sake of doing something. There is a purpose and a reason for everything that the Lord does. Amen. Amen. So, so amen. How does this glow or difference change us? Amen. And what are we supposed to do about it? I mean, the Bible has several scriptures to describe how people are changed, I mean, from the inside out, I mean, when they become Christians. We change from the inside out. I mean, if we only change on the outside and the inside doesn't change, I mean, you're going to still be in darkness. Amen? I mean, there have to be a change from the inside out. Amen. When the Holy Ghost comes in, we have to give him free reign. Thank you, God. Amen. To come in and cleanse us and sanctify us. Amen. Purify us. Amen. Heal us. Deliver us. Amen. Whatever needs to be done. Amen. So that our light can shine. We got to give him permission to do it. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. We can't be so concentrated. Amen. On how we look into somebody on the outside. Thank you, God, because all it takes, amen, is one opposition to come up against us, amen, and we'll mess that whole outside up. Thank you, God. So it's all about the inside. Thank you, God, amen. And when change takes place on the inside, amen, then it's going to show on the outside. Amen? Thank you, God. All right, bless the Lord. Thank you, God, amen. Um, but, but this one verse stated uh, from the lips of Jesus himself, seems to epitomize exactly what we are to do with this inner change. Look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, there is something you must do with this inner change. In Matthew 5 and 16, the verse states the following, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Amen. That's a mouthful right there. Thank you, God. Amen. For anybody that have a question about the light, amen, anybody have a question about coming out of darkness, 
anybody that have a question, amen, about living holy, walking upright, or what have you, amen, the answer is in this particular verse, verse 16. Let's look at it. Amen. First of all, amen, Jesus, amen, tells us this, to let your light so shine, look at this, before men. Let your light shine before men. Hello? Thank you, God. Amen. So that is a purpose why your light have to shine, amen, so that men can look upon it. Amen. He's not talking about, amen, uh, um, 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 putting on a show. Amen. When, when we are in front of people, that ain't what he's talking about here. Amen. If you got a real light, thank you, God. Amen. The same light that's shining in your house when ain't nobody looking at you. Amen. It's the same light that's going to show, thank you, God, when you are, amen, before men. If the light is real, the light is going to show. Can somebody say amen? Amen. But he's saying, let that light shine. Amen. Don't make it shine. Amen. Don't try to portray to be something that you are not. Amen. Thank you, God, because we have the power to become that light. Amen. So he's saying, let it shine. Thank you, God. Do what it is that God has called you to do. Walk in the light, amen, as he is in the light. Hello? Amen. And the Bible said we we'll even have fellowship one with another. Amen. But we got to be in the light. Tell your neighbor, we just got to be in the light. Amen. So let your light so shine before men. Amen. For what reason, Jesus? That they may see your good works. Y'all see that? Amen. We can stop right there, give the benediction, go home and live holy off that. You let your light shine before men. So that they can see your good works. Can somebody say amen? Thank you, God. And when they see your good works, you know what they're going to do? They're going to glorify the Father which is in heaven. They will understand, amen, that it's not you. Thank you, God. Amen. But it's the God in you. Amen. They'll be able to look at your life and say, you know what? Amen. There's a change. There's a significant glow about them. There's a change in their lives. Amen. They are not the same. Amen. And when they see you, glory to God, acting, amen, and reacting like a born-again child of God, thank you, God, amen, then they'll, they're going to want to know about this God. Amen. Because the Bible says what? Amen. That they will see your good works. Amen. How, how you've been a blessing to others, being, amen, help to others. Amen. How you walk in the walk. Amen. How you're carrying yourself in the midst of opposition. Amen. How you're showing the love of God. Amen. How you got the word in your mouth. Amen. Whenever somebody run into you. Amen. Amen. How, how the joy of the Lord is continuously flowing out of you. Thank you, God. How you are grateful to God. Amen. And you keep a praise all the time. Amen. That captures the attention of people that don't understand this walk. Glory to God. Amen. So then they will see your good works and then glorify the Father which is in heaven. That's the reason we got the glow. That's the reason that we've been called and that we've been anointed. Can somebody say amen? Who somebody give the Lord praise and glory for that? Thank you, God. Amen. 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 We want, we want to talk about amen. How we how, how can we? Let our light shine, amen? We want to know how can we do it, amen? And, and, and the lesson is telling us tonight, amen, every step that we need to take. Thank you, God, amen, to let our light shine before the Lord, amen, and before men. Um, again, um, this verse is actually pretty self-explanatory. However, let's take a closer look at this verse and see exactly what Jesus is telling us to do and what changes around us will happen when we let our light shine. Ch changes will happen. <laughs> amen. All you got to do is shine. Amen. Amen. Thank sister, sister, honor, sister told us to just shine, shine, shine. I think almost everybody that got up said something about shining. Shine, shine. Look at somebody said just shine. Amen. You, you, you don't have to make anything happen. Just shine. If the light is in you, amen, it's like the lightning bulb. How many of y'all was raised up in the, in the country? Thank you, God. We were raised in the country, amen, and at night, amen, you would see what we call lightning bulbs. Thank you, God, amen, and lightning bulbs, amen, and they would be flying around, amen, sometimes in groups and what have you, amen, and they had this little light on them. Amen. And I remember we, we were real curious about it. Thank you, God. And I remember my brother, amen, caught some, amen, and, and, and my brother, amen, pulled the little light bulb. It was on the tail, amen, and he pulled it out or what have you, amen. But you know what? That thing didn't go out. Amen. It, it was still lit up. 
Amen. Thank you, God. And I remember Pastor Yavitton preached a message one time. Amen. The stuff is just in him. Amen. So you got to tell somebody I'm shining because the stuff is just in me. <laughs> Y'all going to make me preach now. I'm going to leave it alone in a few minutes. But tell somebody the stuff is just in me. The power is just in me to shine. The Holy Ghost is just in me to shine. Glory to God. Amen. Don't try to take me apart. But if you do, turn, amen, turn me and shake me upside down. Amen. The only thing going to come out is the Lord. That's it. If that's all in you, then that's all going to come out of you. Amen. Tell somebody shine, shine, shine. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. So let's take a closer look amen, at this verse and see exactly what Jesus is telling us to do. Amen. And what changes, amen, around us will happen when we let our light shine. All right. The first one is, what does it mean to let your light shine? The light reference at the beginning of Matthew 5 and 16 is the inner glow of the Holy Spirit that dwells on the inside of the believer and the church saying. I want you to underline that because that felt good in my spirit, even when I said it again and again. Amen, amen. The, the light that's referenced in Matthew 5 and 16 is the inner glow of the Holy Spirit that dwells, that lives on the inside of the believer. It is that positive change within you. Not, not a negative, hello, not, not a halfway change, but it's that positive change within you. It's that power. Somebody say power. Amen. Look at this. Amen. It's that contentment. Y'all see that? Amen. Do you know contentment gives off a light? Amen. When, when, when you are, con are content, when you are content, amen, in something, amen, that means you are not pressured, you're not pushed up, amen, you're not worried, you're not frustrated, thank you God, because those, those changes your life, amen, but when you are content, amen, and, and you trust the Lord, thank you God, your light continues to shine, amen, why, because your faith is in God, amen, I know that God is going to take care of whatever I need him to do, he is with me, he is in me, amen, his word is operating in me, Thank you, God. Amen. So if his word is operating in you, amen, then his word brings forth light. Can somebody say light in the house? Say it again, light. Amen. So not only contentment, amen, but that inner peacefulness. Mm, even when chaos is all around you, my God, amen, that you can just, you cannot, look at this, contain or explain. <laughs> Ooh, can somebody say amen? amen? My God, you know it ain't nobody but the Lord. Amen, amen. Once you go through a trial, amen, and you come out and your light is still shining, thank you, God. And then somebody come to you and say, well, how in the world did you handle that? How in the world did you do that? How in the world did you do that? Child, only thing you got to tell them is, honey, it can't be a, 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 a explained. Thank you, God, amen. You just got to experience it. It takes the Holy Ghost. Can somebody say Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. But bless God. Amen. Amen. You can still see that light shining. Look at this. This light is also the understanding that God is your father. Amen. The, the, the revelation mm, of who God is. Amen. That's the light that's shining in us, y'all. Amen. Because we know who the Lord is. He has been revealed unto us. Amen. He lives on the inside of us. And because we have that knowledge, amen, and we walk in him and he's in us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I got a revelation of who he is. Amen. Tell him, I, I, I don't misunderstand God. I know who he is. Y'all going to make me go back to conference. Amen. Tell your neighbor, you got to know who he is. Amen. And when you know who he is, glory to God, hallelujah. Amen. That understanding is a light, my God. Amen. So this light is also the understanding that God is your father. Look at this. Jesus is your savior. Look at this. And your path is being led forward by the loving involvement of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You, you, you got the Father, the Son, glory to God. Amen. And the Holy Ghost is in operation in your life. Look at somebody and say, how can your light go out? Amen. When all around us and all that's in us ain't nothing but light. Ooh, somebody give the Lord praise and glory. Amen. It is the awareness, thank you God, that what you were before knowing Jesus personally and accepting his sacrifice 
Amen. It's nothing like what you were, what, what you are now. Amen. So that's what helps your light to shine. Amen. Because you don't have to ask anybody. Amen. Uh, am I the same person that I was? Amen. Before, you know, folks say join church. Amen. But we got to be saved and born again. Amen. Before I became a believer. I'm, I'm, do you think I'm the same person? Amen. You don't have to ask no questions. Thank you, God. Why? Because that light is on the inside of you. That change is on the inside of you. Amen. So they don't come to you asking you questions. Amen. You know, like, well, you know, are, are, are you really the same person uh, 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 that you used to be? Or saying you are the same person you used to be. Amen. They will come saying, you know what? I want to be like that. I want that same glow that you have. I want that same peace that you have. Amen. I, I, I want to know the Lord that, that you serve. I, I want to know that God. Can somebody say amen in the house? Glory to God. Tell your neighbor, we just let our light shine. Thank you, God. And look at this. Amen. You treat yourself and others better. Can somebody say amen to that? Amen. Thank you, God. When, when, you, when you are born again, amen, and, and you know that you're carrying the light, Thank you, God. Amen. You treat yourself better. And naturally, you're going to treat other people better. Amen. Why? Because you understand the value of the light that's on the inside of you. You understand the value of the power. Thank you, God. Amen. That's living on the inside of you. Amen. You understand the value of the word. Amen. That's working on the inside of you. That when you speak it out of your mouth, amen, it is producing, amen, what only the word can do. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. That puts a confidence down in your spirit. Come on, church. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you treat yourself and others better as you understand more and more that God loves you and will provide for all your needs. Amen. God will provide for all of your needs. Amen. Amen. I'm a witness. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I don't have to ask anybody, will he do it? God will provide for all of your needs. That's what the word say. According to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Tell your neighbor he'll do it for you. Amen. It is this awareness of who the light is in you that becomes evident in your words, your actions, and your thought. Because you know who that light is. Amen. Then that means, amen, amen, your words going to show it forth. Your conversation is going to show it forth. Amen. Your actions, amen, how you carry yourself, how you react, amen, is going to show forth. And your thoughts, amen, how you think, what you think, amen, is going to show forth. Amen, the light. Can somebody say the light? All right, bless the Lord. Next, to whom is Jesus speaking here? All right, read. Jesus shares this amazing insight recorded in Matthew 5 with his disciples. Amen, so he shared this with who? His disciples. With his disciples. Tell your neighbor, we are his disciples. And tell them the word is the same today. Amen. As it was then. Hallelujah. Read it. Jesus tells the disciples that all believers mm -hmm. are the salt and light of the world. Amen. I want you to understand. I want you to, uh, to underline. Amen. That Jesus tells the disciples that all believers. Y'all see that? All believers. Amen. Thank you, God. Are the salt and the light of the world. Amen. We, we're not just talking about church members. Hello? Amen. We're talking about believers. Amen. When, when you are a believer, thank you, God, amen, then you live this life. Amen. Because you believe it to be true. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. So believers, all believers, amen, are the salt and light of the world. That's Matthew 5, 13 through 14. Uh-huh. And that they are like a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. Amen. Look at who you are in this world. Because how I many know we live in a real dark world? It's dark out there, ain't it? Amen. There's a whole lot of foolishness and a whole lot of stuff. Amen. And the sad thing about it is, amen, amen, it's just not in the world. Thank you, God. It's in the church world, too. There's a whole lot of darkness in the church world as well. Amen. How I many know there got to be a change that takes place? Thank you, God. And when the people of God, amen, when the saints of God, amen, that's bearing the light, amen, when we would get on a hill and shine brighter, I mean, you know, amen, we can cast out all of that darkness and all of that fake light. Hello? Thank you, God. Amen. If we shine brighter, amen, then we can show up the, amen, the lesser light. We can show up the phony, amen, if we just shine. 
Thank you, God. Can somebody help me up in here? Amen. If you shine, amen, you can show up the hypocrites on your job. Come on, church. Amen. You can show up, amen, of uh, uh, the backsliders. Amen. You can show, show those up, amen, that's declaring to be one thing and another. When you let your light shine, and all you got to do, amen, is just let it shine. Amen. You, you ain't got to be, amen, in, in no argument with anybody about anything. All you got to do is let your light shine. Amen. Before men, amen, and the Bible tells us that they will see your good works and they'll glorify the Father. They'll see your good works, amen, and say, you know what? Amen. That's the real one because that right there can't be real. Amen. They're going to glorify the Father and say, you know what? Amen. It's the Lord. The Lord is in that person. The Lord, amen, have saved that person. Amen. Because you know what? Amen. How they handle that situation, amen, how they live in their life, amen, that got to be God. They're going to glorify the Father. Amen. But if we are fakes, come on, church. Amen. And we're not living the life. Amen. We're going to be showed up. Can I get some help in the house? All right. Read it. He continues the verse uh -huh. by saying that believers were meant to be like lights mm. on lamps that weren't meant to be hidden under a basket, mm -hmm. but placed on lampstands to light the way for all. Amen. So, amen, he, he continues the verse by saying, believers, somebody say believers. believers. Somebody say believers. believers. Amen. We are meant to be like lights, amen, on a lampstand. We are, we are, we are not meant, amen, to, to be a light and be put up under a bushel. Amen. We don't hide in the dark. We shine. Amen. So that people can see the light and they can come to the Lord. Amen. Amen. If, 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 if we don't live it to the extent that it's supposed to be lived, amen, the only thing we're doing is, is putting our light under a bushel. Amen. We can have the most powerful testimonies you want to have. I'm saved. I'm sanctified. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. And I'm running for my life. Amen. If your, life, your light is under a bushel, amen, then you are not being a blessing to anybody. Nobody can look at you and see your good works and glorify the Father. Amen? Thank you, God. Can somebody say amen in the house? Amen. All right, that's Matthew 5 and 15. All right, read it. In a world that is filled with darkness, mm -hmm. believers are to be the lights shining through the darkness mm -hmm. to lead people not only to safety, Mama. but to the arms of Jesus. I like that. Amen. Can, can we read that one again? Mm -hmm. Amen. In, in a world that is filled with darkness, what? Believers? Are to be the light. Believers are to be the light shining through the darkness. Amen. It didn't say that there wasn't going to be any darkness because it's, it's darkness. Amen. As long as, amen, sin is in the world. Amen. Sin is darkness. As long as there's unsaved people in the world. Amen. And people that are not living according to the word. There is darkness. Come on, church. Thank you, God. Amen. But we as the people of God, amen, as believers, thank you, God. Amen. We, are God, we have to be the light that shines through the through, darkness. Through, yes. We got we to shine through it. Somebody made the statement, amen, on, on last week. Thank you, God. Amen. That as lights, thank you, God. Amen. Lights were not made to shine in light. We are the light. Lights are made to shine in darkness. Can somebody say Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. So that's why we, the people of God, amen, we, we just can't just come, amen, and, and act like we got it all together when we come to church. Amen. When, when I come to church, amen, you know, I, I put on my church face, amen, and I, 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 I turn my light up or what have you, and I want everybody to think that I got it all together, amen, and I'm walking in holiness, amen. But then when we go out the door, thank you, God, amen, then we become our regular self. Amen. I mean, that ain't helping nobody. Amen. That's not helping you and it's not helping anybody. Amen. It's when we leave these doors. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. That we then, amen, show forth that light. Hello? Thank you, God. Yes, we can come in, amen, and we can shout together, amen, and we can encourage one another, amen, and we can, amen, run and jump and what have you, preach and teach and whatever, amen. But, but guess what? Amen. The, the darkness is out there as well. We, we got to go out there and let our light shine so that men can see our good works and glorify the Father. Amen? Tell your neighbor, somebody looking at you. Thank you, God. Amen. But what are they seeing? 
Amen. They're looking at you. They're looking at us. But what are we showing them? Amen. Amen. So believers are to be the lights shining in darkness to lead people not only to safety, amen, when we warn them, amen, that hell is real and heaven is real, amen, and, and, and that, you know, hell is enlarging itself and what have you. Thank you, God. Amen. Come on in the house. Thank you, God. It's going to rain one day, amen. We leading them to safety, amen, but we, we, most all, we, we want to lead them to the arms of Jesus. We, we don't want to just de, to, 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 to lead them to the church and put their name on the road and that's all, y'all. Come on, it's more than that. I mean, we, we have too many people already there, I mean, with their name on the roll, amen, but their life, glory to God, is not showing forth, amen, the love of God or the light of God. Amen, thank you, God. We want to lead people, amen, to the arms of the Lord. We want people to fall in love with Jesus. Amen, live for, live for him, amen. Glory to God, amen. Be, be, be that example, glory to God, amen. Be that vessel that he can work through. My God, my God. Thank you, God. And how I many know oh, he's looking for somebody that would say, yes, Lord. Amen in the house. All right, read it. As believers. Ooh, thank you, my father. Yes. We, we will oftentimes struggle against a world that will try to take away our life uh -huh. or claim it is false and not of God. Amen. Tell your neighbor, there are going to be some struggles. The Bible tells us to think it not strange. Concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Glory to God. How many know, amen, you're going to go through some trials and tribulations. Amen. There are going to be some things, amen, that, that, you, that you struggle, glory to God, amen, and have to go through in this world. Why? Amen. Because the enemy wants to put our lights out. He wants to put our lights out. Glory to God. Amen. And, amen. and he wants to put forth this, this false claim, amen, that, that, that um, God is not real. Or saying stuff like, well, you know, uh, God don't love you and, 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 and God, God don't hear your prayers, amen, and, and that, you know, God can use you. Amen. He wants to come forth with all of these things, amen, and when we receive them as truth, you know what we do? Amen. We sit down and we turn our light down. We turn our lights down. You know why? Amen. Because we want to now hide in darkness. Because now we're taking what the devil said to be true that we ain't nothing and that God can't use us and we can never be anything. So we want to turn our light down. Amen. But you know what? That's the time to shake it off, honey. That's the time to shake it off, amen, and shine like you ain't never shined before. Can somebody say amen in the house? Thank you, God. Read it. Our lights are our purposes mm -hmm. that God has established in our lives. I want you to understand that. I want you to underline that. Our lights are our purposes that God has established for our lives. You have purpose. Each and every one of you that's under the sound of my voice, you have purpose. God did not, did not save us, thank you God, for no reason. Amen. Nobody is born again, amen, for no reason. There is a purpose, there is a work to be done, amen, and for each, in each and every one of our lives. Amen? Tell your neighbor, you have been called of God. Thank you, God. Amen. How many know what your purpose is? Amen. How many walking in your purpose? Thank you, God. Amen. How many know, amen, that, 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 that's, that's another level, amen, to our purpose? Glory to God. We ain't reached the top. Thank you, God. Amen. But guess what? We got to participate in what God wants to do in our lives. Amen. We, we got to be yielded vessels. Hallelujah. Thank you, God, that when God speaks to us and tell us to shine, amen, we need to just shine. Thank you, God. Amen. We, we can't have them bad days where we, I don't feel like shining today. What do you mean you don't feel like it? Amen. When God is in total control, amen, he controls the switch. So if God is in control, how are you able, amen, to turn the switch on and off? That means God is not in control. You're still in control. Your flesh is still in control. Ooh, somebody give the Lord praise and glory in the house. Amen. But our lights, amen, are our purpose that God has established in our lives. Uh-huh. Read it. Part of his plan mm -hmm. to bring believers to his kingdom and eternity in heaven. Amen. Do you see, you see, you see what God, amen, what purpose God has for us, for the light that shine through us? Amen. His plan, amen, is for us to bring other believers to his kingdom. Amen. Eternity in heaven, people of God. 
Amen. You should never be satisfied, amen, with just yourself making it in. I mean, what, what, kind of, what kind of light? I'm, I'm my own light. I, I'm my own light. I just like looking at myself because I'm my own light. Woo, look how I'm glowing. But how is that helping anybody else? How is that helping anybody else? That's not helping anybody else. Thank you, God. Amen. You have to let the light shine forth. Glory to God. Amen. So that the plan of God, amen, can go forth. The plan of God, amen, can come into fruition. Amen. Amen. For all believers. Amen. It's not the will of God that any should perish, but that all will have eternal life. We realize everybody ain't going to heaven. Amen. But as believers, amen, as the light bearers, glory to God, amen, we ought to be, amen, at least trying to shine just as many as we can, amen, in the arms of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be like a spotlight, amen. This is the way. Amen. Amen. You, you don't know the way? Amen. This is the way. Amen. Holding up Jesus, amen, Christ and his word. My God, somebody give the Lord praise and glory Ooh, for that on tonight. Amen and amen. Thank you, God. Amen. We got a job to do. Amen. We, we can't be so caught up in ourselves. Amen. It's all about me, myself, and I. Amen. And in, in this day and time, don't even have a desire to win souls to the Lord. Amen. To even witness or talk to anybody, amen, about the Lord. To ask, look at somebody and say, what's up with that? Amen. What's, I'm like the scripture, you did run well, but who did hinder you that you should not obey the truth? Amen. We are the people of God. Thank you, God. Amen. The witness, amen, is the light that's on the inside of you. Amen. So you should be sharing that light every day. Thank you, God, with somebody. If it ain't nothing, amen, but telling somebody God loves you. Amen. Pr praise the Lord. Make it a part of your greeting. M make it a part of your greeting, amen, when you're greeting people. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God loves you. Amen. Make, praise, praise the Lord. God loves you. Amen. And you're going to run up on one to say, uh, excuse me? Amen. God loves you. Me? Well, you must don't know what I've done. Amen. I mean, that's an open door. Thank you, God. Amen. We, we got to be wise in these last and evil days. Amen. Come on. Go over to God. Amen. It's a wise man that wins souls unto the Lord. Come on, church. Amen. But we got to open our mouths. Amen. And we have to say something. We got to declare what we know. We are the light. Amen. So we have to declare like a light does. We got to shine like a light does. Amen. Who can somebody say amen? When we accept these purposes, these callings in our lives, our light is lit inside and shines through us for others to see. When you accept the purpose of God for your life, thank you, God. Amen. Do you know that lights that light on the inside of you? Amen. And then you begin to walk in that light as he is in the light. Thank you, God. Amen. And then others will see the light. Thank you, God. And come to the Lord. Oh, how sweet it is. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Bless the Lord. Amen. How can we be a light to the world today? Read it. Now more than ever, mm -hmm. we are called to be the lights to a world struggling against physical and spiritual forces mm -hmm. like never before. And the church say, amen. amen, amen, now more than ever before. Thank you, God. We are called to be that light to a world that's struggling against physical darkness, amen, and spiritual forces like never before. Amen, amen, amen. Uh, uh, strongholds, my God. Thank you, God. Amen. Uh, uh, um, uh, the, all of the things that the enemy comes, amen, to tie the people of God in knots, so to speak. Thank you, God. Amen. From, from the mindset, amen, all the way, amen, to their very soul, amen, and spirit, amen. He's tying them up in knots. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. So that they can't break free. Amen. And, 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 and getting, getting them to a point to where they don't even want to be free. You know, it's just like, well, case arise, sarah, sarah, whatever will be, will be. Let, just let it be. Amen. I mean, you can't lose your fight, people of God. Thank you, God. Amen. You, 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 you got to understand that God can use light in the midst of a battle to win the war. Hello? 
Thank you, God. Amen. God, God can use it. Glory to God. Amen. To win the war. Amen. But you got to be willing to keep that light burning. Yeah. You, can't, you can't let it go. Don't let the devil put your lights out. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Look at somebody and tell them, don't let the devil put your lights out. Let the devil put your lights out. Amen. Think about how, how much you've been through and how you come through. Amen. And how you fasted and how you prayed and how you laid before the Lord and all of the battles and everything that you fought to get to this point. Amen. And now your light is shining. Thank you, God. Amen. And because you got to go through opposition that we've already been warned about, that in this life we're going to go through some trials and tribulations. It wasn't like Jesus just allowed something to slip up on us. He warned us in advance that we're going to go through some stuff. Thank you, God. Amen. So guess what? Amen. We protect ourselves in the word of God. We cover ourselves in the blood of the lamb. Hello. Thank you, God. Amen. And we keep that light shining. Amen. When a light shines, mm -hmm, you know what? Amen. It gives off light in the house as well as on the outside. When your light shining in your house, amen, everybody in your house can see what's going on in the house. Amen. When your light shining in your house, thank you, God. Somebody that's riding past, amen, can see your light shining in your house. Amen. So the light is shown, amen, whether it's in the house or outside of the house. Hello? Thank you, God. Amen. So we can't afford to let it go out. Because if it go out on the inside of the house, it's going to go out on the outside. Amen. That's just like a person, thank you, God, amen, that's trying to go forth. Mm -hmm. Amen. And have no anointing on their lives. You're going forward, but there, there is no anointing. There is no power. You got to keep the light on. Come on, church. Amen. You got to stay under the blood. You got to stay delivered. You got to stay free. Come on, people of God. Thank you, God. You got to stay free. Amen. Don't be entangled with the yoke of bondage anymore. Once, once the Lord bring you out, amen, stay out. Thank you, God. And let me tell you something, amen. The dumb, dumb yokes of bondage, amen. Those are sp that's spiritual bondage. That's spiritual bondage, amen. When you are in bondage spiritually, thank you, God, it's going to bound you up in everything around you. It's a whole lot more than, amen, stuff on the outside where you know I'm free, I ain't in bound no more. Amen. If the devil got you, amen, you bound. If, if you are not free, glory to God, amen, amen, and loose, amen, from the cares of this world, amen, and loose from the things of the enemy, you are yet bound. If you are not free, you are bound. If you are not walking in the light, you are in darkness. You are bound, and you are not free. Can somebody say amen? All right, read it. Especially as we currently deal with issues involving our health, mm -hmm. identities, yes. finances, and government, uh -huh. our presence as lights for God is so important. Amen. That, that's so important. Amen. Would you read that paragraph again? Uh, uh, now? Now more than ever, uh -huh. we are called to be lights to a world mm -hmm. struggling mm -hmm. against physical and spiritual forces yes. like never before. Yes. Especially, Especially as we currently deal mm -hmm. with issues involving our health, involving health, identities. Ident I mean, no, we live in a world where folk are confused about who they are. Amen. And that's, that's not just spiritually. I mean, that's even in the natural. I mean, folk are confused about, I mean, there ain't nothing but the enemy. I mean, that comes to confuse you I mean, about who you are. I mean, if you want to know who you are, ask God. Amen. If nobody around you will be truthful enough to tell you who you are or they don't know who you are, then you go to the maker. Go to the one that made you, the one that created you. I promise you, he can tell you exactly who you are. Mm -hmm. Physically, mentally, amen, and spiritually. He can tell you who you are. Read it. Finances. Finances. And government. Government. Our presence as lights for God uh -huh. is so important. Amen. Do y'all see why our light have to shine? Our light have to shine. Amen. When it comes, amen, so much, so much sickness. Amen. When it comes to health, we have to shine to let people know, amen, that our God is a healer. He, he's, he's still a healer. He's still a deliverer. Can somebody say amen? Amen. As I said, in identity, amen, we, we got to let the world know, amen, what believers look like, who believers are. 
Amen. You got to hold to your identity. Who are you? Amen. You, you can't be Dr. Jekyll today and Mr. Hyde tomorrow. Amen. You got to amen, know who you are and you got to walk in that. Is somebody going to say amen? amen? Amen. Even when it comes to our finances. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. We got to trust and believe, amen, that our God is able to take care of us. All we have to do is what the Lord requires of us to do, and he's going to take care of the rest. Come on. Amen. He will look out for his people. Amen. And amen, even when it comes to government, amen, our light got to shine because our government is towed up from the flow up. Amen, amen, not just the government, amen, amen, that's in Washington, amen, but the government that's over our church world, amen, it's toe up as well. Thank you, God, amen. Everybody want to do their own thing, amen, and everybody want to operate outside of the scripture and outside of the word, amen, amen. When God's church is established, glory to God, he sets the foundation, thank you, God, amen, for what it's supposed to be like, amen. He's the one that will say, this is going to be and that's not going to be. We got to go to God. Amen. So we got to let our light shine. Amen. So that men will see. Well, you know what? Glory to God. Amen. They believe what the word of God say. Amen. Amen. They're living what does say of the Lord. Somebody give the Lord praise and glory. Amen. Glory to God. We're almost finished. Amen. But it's important, people of God. Thank you, God. Amen. To let your light shine. It's important for you to understand why you have a light and why you need to be walking in that light. Read it. Some believe that grandiose acts mm -hmm. are what it means to be lights for mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. But at times, it is little acts of faith yes. that most show others of God's love mm -hmm. and provision for all of us. Amen. Tell you, David, it ain't all about the big things. Amen. Somebody think, well, you know, I, I'm, a, you know I'm a light because, you know, you know, I'm grand. You know, I have this major platform and I, and I have all of this. That, that, that. Most of the time, God light ain't even showing because you're shining too bright of yourself. T too much of you, amen, that's alive. Can somebody say amen? Amen. So it's not, it's not, the, it's not always the, bam, the big thing. What is what he called it? The grandiosis act. Amen. Uh, 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 of what, is, what it means to be lights for him. But at times, look at this. It is the little acts of faith. My God, I love it. Amen. That most show others Amen. Of God's love and provision for all of us. Little acts of kindness. Little acts of love. Amen. Just to show the love of God. Amen. Light shining. Little lights. Thank you, God. Amen. Showing, shining a little bit over here and shining a little bit over there. Amen. And what is it doing? Thank you, God. It's drawing people unto the Lord. It's drawing them. Let your light shine. Huh? Let your light shine. Ain't no big U's, no big eyes and little U's when it comes to the Lord. He used all of us according to our purpose. Look at somebody say, you got a purpose. Don't let the devil think that what God called you, or make you think that what God called you to do is lesser in the kingdom, amen, than what he called somebody else. Amen, the, the only difference between us is what we do. That's it. Amen. But we, we, we're all somebody in the eyes of God. Amen. Everything that we do for the kingdom is important to the kingdom. We just got to love what he called us to do. Amen. Ooh, can somebody say amen? All right, bless the Lord. Read it. Some ways, some ways we can be lights to the world today uh -huh. include encouraging others during their trials uh -huh. and, and hardships through the word of God. Amen. And, amen. Look at that. Amen. How, how simple is that? Thank you, God. Amen. You want to be a light? Amen. Then, then encourage somebody else. Amen. Amen. In, in their trials and tribulations. Amen. And in their hardship. Encourage them. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. That God is able. Amen. God will make a way. God will bring you out. Amen. Just seek the face of God. Call on the name of the Lord. Amen. And God will show. Just encouraging somebody in the word of God. That's what brought us over. That's what keeps us over now is we got to keep going back to what the word tells us. Thank you, God. Amen. All right, what else? Through preaching. The preaching of the gospel. Uh-huh. Teaching. Teaching. Witnessing. Witnessing. 
by way of phone calls. Amen. Phone calls. Text messages. Text messages. Or face-to-face -face interaction. Amen. Amen. Phone calls and text messages. You know, it, it is it's the communication of the day, but it don't mean that you can't use it to win somebody over to the Lord, to encourage somebody. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. And face-to-face, -face, amen, interaction. Thank you, God. Amen. Sitting down, amen, and talking with somebody face to face, amen, and reminding them and encouraging them during their trials and hardships, amen, and tribulations, amen, that God's word will bring you out. Amen. Other ways? Other ways could be using your skills and talents. Amen. How many see works here and mm -hmm. actions? Thank you, God. Amen. You, you, you got to use your skills. Hello? Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you got to use what God have given you. That's why, amen, you can't look down, amen, on what God called you to do and the way that the Lord told you to do it. Thank you, God. Amen. Walk in what God called you to do. Amen. The way that the Lord has given it unto you. Hello? Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. Amen. And then God can use you because you're not trying to be like somebody else. Amen. You're being who God called you to be. Thank you, God. Amen. You, you, you may not do it like me. I may not do it like you. But how did God tell you to do it? Amen. Amen. How did God anoint you to do it? As long as you operate under the anointing, amen, you will stay within the realms that God have called you. If you walk in the anointing, thank you, God. Amen. I promise you. Glory to God. Amen. You will please God every time. Amen. All right. Bless the Lord. Read it. Using your skills and talents. Your skills and talents. For the community or in ministry. Amen. Not only is it in ministry, thank you, God, but it's also for the community. For the community, amen. The community of the church, amen. The community that you live in, at, amen, uh, at your home or what have you, amen, on your job or what have you, amen. Use your talents and use your skills, amen. In the midst of all of that, your light is shining. Your light is shining, amen. All right, read. Such as singing in the choir. Look at this, singing in the choir. Working with children. Working with children. Helping the elderly. Helping the elderly. How many see the ministry of helps here? How I many know that's needed in the church, y'all? That's needed in the world. Thank you, God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Read it. And maybe even taking the pulpit to preach a sermon. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. And then maybe if you called, sent, uh, amen. But don't, 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 don't let it be that that's the only way, amen, that you can share the word of God, amen, or that you can encourage somebody else is, you know, I got to be in the pulpit and I got to have a mic in my hand and amen, I got to have the, the, the attention of everybody on me. Thank you. How many know, amen, when everybody's attention is on you, amen, they can see everything about you. Hello? They can see the good, the bad, and the ugly. Thank you, God. Amen. So you better stick with God, and I better stick with God. Amen. Amen. Let the light of the Lord show forth. Thank you, God. Amen. Read it. Being a light means allowing others to come into contact with that light. Yes. Through service and connection. Service and connection. Witnessing, talking to people. Amen. Telling them about the Lord, that people's lives can be changed. Souls can be saved. Thank you, God. If you operate in the service of the Lord, you'll make that connection. Amen. That would draw people unto the Lord. Yes. Read. Offering the opportunity uh -huh. to share with them how you have the joy of Jesus uh -huh. to help you through the trials and heartache. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. When, when you make that contact, glory to God. Amen. After you share Jesus, amen, then you can tell them, amen, how the Lord had done it for you. Amen. But, but, but don't, don't you be, be the lead now. Well, well, let me tell you, let me tell you what the Lord did for me because you know what the Lord and me and me and me and me and me and me. No, let it be Jesus. Let, let it be Jesus, amen, because you, you might think it was all of that, but then you got some folk looking like, honey, your light won't shine in all that bright. You think it was shining, but it, it won't, it really won't shine in all that bright. Don't tell that testimony no more. Amen. All right, bless the Lord, but you can help people, amen, uh, through trials and headache. As you shine. As you shine, your light for others to see. Uh -huh. You will also see that it becomes less and less about getting recognition yes. uh -huh. for what you have done. Yes. And more about how you can direct that praise yes. back to God. I love it. Somebody give the Lord praise and glory. Anybody love that like I love it? 
Thank you, God. Hallelujah. The more you let your light shine, people of God, amen, it becomes less about you getting recognition, amen, for what you have done and more about how you can direct that praise back to God. Amen. The praise always go to God. The glory always go to God. I don't care if you speak a word, amen, and it's rock the house, break up the foundation and cause the roof to fall in. Y'all talk to me. When you finish and you get up, amen, and everybody is still with you <laughs> and then run for fear, amen, you stand up and you said, to God be all the glory. Don't you ever touch the glory of God. Don't take it and don't touch it. Amen. All glory goes to God. Can somebody shout that in the house tonight? All glory goes to God. The light that shines in you and me, amen, is the light of God. Amen. You couldn't, you didn't have no light. I didn't have no light. Amen. In us won't nothing but darkness. Ooh, but when we received Jesus as our Lord, the light came on. My God, and I like walking in the light. All right, bless the Lord. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Amen. All right, lastly, amen. Shine your go ahead. I'm sorry. For if it wasn't for him, uh huh. You wouldn't be in a place where you could shine mm -hmm. your light and serve others in love to him. Yes. Because of who he because is. Because of who he is. You have become who <laughs> you are. <laughs> Woo, tell your neighbor, I feel like running. I feel like running. Thank you, God. Because of who he is. Woo. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That's how you are. That's how you have become who you are. Because of who he is. Because of who he is. <laughs> Ooh, I feel the singer coming on, but I don't want nobody to write me and tell me, Pastor, don't try. <laughs> Thank you, God. Amen. Lastly, shine your own light. Amen. Shine your own light. Amen. Don't try to hide behind somebody else's light. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. I'm going to hide under, amen, pastor's anointing or bishop's anointing or I'm going to hide, amen, under the elders or the evangelists, amen, or the, the, the praise leaders or whoever. Amen. I'm going to flow up under their anointing. Amen. Have your own anointing. Amen. There is a set anointing that is upon every house. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen. And that anointing, amen, sets the bar. Amen. To where everybody else's anointing should come up to. Can somebody say amen? But tell your neighbor, shine your own light. Uh-huh. All right. Read it. Matthew 5 and 16 is one verse that has been treasured mm -hmm. and loved by many for years. Yes. Explaining who we are in Christ. Yes. And how... What we do for him uh -huh. brings glory and love to God our Father. I want you to underline that because I want you to remember that. Amen. What, what you do for him brings glory and love to God our Father. What you do for him. Amen. So just make sure whatever you do, you do it as unto the Lord. You do it for the Lord. Uh-huh. Read it. As Jesus shared these truths mm -hmm. to his followers, mm -hmm. they could see he was different from others mm -hmm. who preached for their own glory. Yes. His own shining light was lit to direct people back to God. Yes. The Father and all he is for us. Amen. His light, because of the way he carried himself, the light that was shining through him. Thank you, God. The followers, those that follow, thank you, God. Amen. They saw it. Amen. Thank you, God. Amen. And, 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 and it, they were directed back to God. God. Amen. That's why our light shines. That's why we walk in it. Thank you. God. That's why we do what we do. Amen. So that what we do, people are directed to God. Not to us, but to God. Mm hmm We, in closing, amen, we embody the same light when we share God's love with others as Jesus did. Serving him with peaceful hearts and directing them towards God's provision and mercy. As we shine our lights, let us be thankful for the opportunities we've had, we have to be these beacons of hope for people and glorify God in heaven in the process. Amen. How many will praise God, amen, on tonight, amen, that God have chosen you to be a beacon of light, amen, that others can come to him and be saved. Glory to God. God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. Amen. We pray that the word of God have encouraged you on tonight. Amen. Look at somebody again and tell them, neighbor, shine, shine, shine. 
Amen. Let your light shine. Amen. That our Father, glory to God, will be glorified. Amen. In the midst. We love you in the Lord. Amen. Again, we thank God for each and every one of you. We pray that this word, glory to God, amen, has come to strengthen you, encourage you, enlighten you on tonight. Amen. Walk in the light. Amen. Let that word, amen, operate in you. Remember the purpose for which God has called, anointed, filled you. Amen. And lit you. Amen. In Jesus' name. We love you. God bless you. Amen. It's my prayer. Amen. Come on and give the Lord praise and glory on tonight. Amen. Woo. Thank you, God. We thank God. Amen. God bless you. We love you in the Lord. Amen. And we just thank God. Amen. For you, you, and you. Amen. Just, just seeing the, 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 the glory of the Lord just shining through. Amen. On you. Amen. When, when you're glad to be saved, thank you, God. Amen. Tell your neighbor it ain't hard to let the light shine. Amen. Anybody got a struggle with it tonight? I ain't got no struggle. You got a struggle. No struggle. Amen. Love it. Loving to love the Lord. Amen. All right. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. Anybody desire special prayer for anything on tonight? Amen. Any uh, special shout outs or what have you? Thank you, God.